Help defense doesn't have to be very complicated at all. In fact, if you institute a couple of key rules, it can make your defense work really well, no matter the situation. So we want to talk about how to properly help and rotate. What I subscribe to is sink and fill. What does that mean? Well, we always start off with no middle defense. So Serene's going to show us how to guard a man with no middle. We're right. He's going to actually have his left hand up in front of him, his, his, uh, his outside foot or his high foot higher than the man, literally begging him to go baseline. Now, one of the keys to that really quickly is, let me be you for a second, is if he tries to go middle, I'm going to move this way, right? I'm not going to open up and let him go. We see that all the time. It drives me crazy. So, independent of that, no middle defense, but we're going to let him go and he's going to penetrate to the baseline. So, the rule we have here is the lowest guy in the defense rotates over and the farthest guy sinks and fills. Very simple, and if you have those concepts, even in the three-on-three -three drill like this, it will translate to five-on-five. -five. So reset, and let's see that again, walking it through very slowly. Now remember, when he is guarding this man who is, the ball is over there, so the ball is two passes away or more, right? So he's gonna be in the midline for most defenses. Even in the NBA now, you almost get away with this for three seconds, but anywhere else, you can just stand here. He's probably gonna be even lower, right? So you can see both the man and the ball. Good. Now. Oh, one other thing I want to throw in here is, we used to talk about using your peripheral vision and doing this. Nobody does that. It's okay to, to swivel. It's perfectly okay. You guys play football, you do it all the time, right? You don't lose your man when you see the ball. So this is okay to swivel. Now, here comes the penetration. Turn and run. Good. Sink and fill. Now, these guys are going to cut, and we can deal with a whole lot of other things for the rotate out from there, but at the very least, you have to stop the ball. That's the most important thing. Reset one more time. We'll talk about one more concept that's very important. Sliding is an archaic way of moving around on defense. If you can keep in front of your man with sliding, great. It almost never happens anymore because guys with the handles are so good, even at the high school level or lower. So we need to use a lot, utilize the turn and run a lot more whenever we go anywhere on defense. So you're gonna watch what Kevin needs to do as he's gonna help, and he wants to help, he wants to get there to the block before the ball gets there. The only way he can do that is if he turns and runs. So here he comes, turn and run. Now look, turn and run here, good. Okay, now the last piece of that puzzle that you want to work on because there's so much fundamentals here we can talk about is how you properly do that. Well, you don't want to do a negative step. You don't want to step here to go that way, right? We want to avoid that, but you can still use the hop or a drop, so you want to drop at this position and go. So show me that real quick. Just isolate the sink and fill here. You, can, you guys can stay there. Show me how you can drop, ro rotate your hips and go. Good. See that? It's not a negative step because he is dropping and keeping his midline in the same spot. If I negative step, means I go this way. So I drop, I rotate my hips to where I want to go, and I'm there. Even with really good athletes who oftentimes don't need to be as quick as they can, this will make them hyper quick, make it even better. That rebound or that steal is yours. Why? Because the guy's going to cut to the basket, or the guy who's helping is going to be open. You slide in here, and you can knock all sorts of balls away or get steals. And that is how you run the proper sink and fill rotational defense.